Assalamu alaikum grade one. How are you all? Welcome to the social studies lesson week five. As we all know, the value of the month is fairness, meaning the quality of treating people equally or in a way that is right or reasonable. Today, the new lesson that we are going to do is my community, my school. I know you all remember that we learned about social groups and communities in the last weeks as well. And this week we are going to see something new and have some fun activities as well. In this lesson, you all will be able to find a relevant source of information for specific topics. And you will also be able to participate in class discussion and present it. And you'll also be able to draw pictures and write captions related to the topic. Let's revise our Q vocabularies that we can use in our daily life related to the lesson. Repeat after me, everyone. Community, school logo, and school uniform. You see, these are the things related to our school, right? Here is a fun video that you can watch in the class and have fun with your teachers and your friends. Now, so let's review. How many of you remember what is a social group? Yes, a group of two or more people who are standing and sitting next to each other is called a social group. For example, a family living in a home is a social group. Group of people working together is a social group. A group of classmates in a class are also a social group. Now, now in these situations of COVID-19 going on, are we allowed to sit close to each other in a group? No, we need to maintain social distance. Why do we need to maintain social distance? So that we can be safe and keep others safe as well. We should stay at least two meters away from each other. Now let's come to community. What is a community? A group of people living or working together in the same area is a community. People in communities might go to the same schools, shop in the same stores, and do the same things. But if it is a bigger community, the people in it might not always go to the same places. For example, even in your own home, in, uh, in your own neighborhood, in your own buildings, there will be children who will be going to different schools, right? Your school is Al-Ansar International School and their school might be different, but you still live in the same community, in the same neighborhood, right? Now, whenever you are living in a community, everyone there has some duties and responsibilities to take care of. And one of the main duties of people living in a community are that they help each other and solve every problem together. Now, I want you to think that how can you help the needy people to face the current situation of COVID-19? Do let me know about your answers on my, on my WhatsApp. Now, there are different communities you belong to. Just like social groups, a home is a community. A school is a different community. Wherever you spend time, the people around you, it is all a community. Your neighborhood is your community. Your classroom is a social group and a community. Any game team that you are a part of is a community and the nation that you are a part of is also a community. Fair work. I want you all to think and answer such questions. In your class, we'll be having a very fun activity of fair work where the teacher will unmute two of you, and one of you will take the interview of the other student. Now, the questions that the interviewer will ask are, what is your name? How old are you? How many brothers and sisters do you have? Do you have a pet? If yes, what kind? Do you play sports? If yes, what kind of sports do you play? What is your favorite color? And when were you born? I know you all can answer these questions, right? It will be a fun activity in class and we will all enjoy, inshallah. Now we have a fun writing activity. I have some questions for you and I want you to write the answers for that questions. Your teacher's name. Who is your teacher who teaches you social studies? 
name of your school can you write the name of your school uh -uh, what is the name of your school yes ansar international school and now i want you to write your favorite subject your school colors and when you grow up what do you want to be and now we have a fun drawing activity where you're going to write or draw or do both about your school. Can you write or draw something more about your school? Show your creativity and the colorful side to your teacher. It will be a fun activity where you will draw things related to your school. And now I want you all to let me know if you like the lesson, if you like the activities. What did you like about the lesson? What have you learned today? Do let me know. And in the end, I want you to list any three things that you like about your school. I will be waiting for your answers. Have fun and take care till next week. See you all. Bye-bye.